Today, for our topic, we'll be looking at the corrupt church. Now, let's look at the definition of corrupt. It says here, corrupt, adjective, having or shown a willingness to act dishonestly in return for money or personal gain. The verb, to act dishonestly in return for money or personal gain, it's the same as the adjective. Number two, change or debase by making errors or unintentional alteration. So if you make errors and you alter, you alter things like you alter the word of God, that's a corrupt church. And many people, not even the churches, many people, um, God says A, they say A, but they alter the A. They alter what the A stands for. So today for our topic, we are looking at the corrupt church. If a church is in operation for money, only for money, the church is corrupt. If the church is in operation only for personal gain, you know, to write books and to make God house a merchandise, write books, sell, sell books, you know, and just make a profit off of the word of God. And that church is corrupt. So today for a topic, we're looking at the corrupt church and it's not. It's not difficult to look out and just see um, a lot of churches. Now, not all of them. But some of these churches, you could see that the people them are just in it for personal gain. And that is one of the reasons why when Jesus went into... When Jesus went into the synagogue, they were selling stuff in the synagogue. They do it today in churches. I remember I used to go to a church and the pastor said, If you want to sell something... You go outside, not in the church, but you go outside and you sell it. Because she understood, you know, there's a time and a place to things. And don't sell the stuff in the church. Sell it outside of the church. So, if the church is selling, and sometimes the church do sell stuff. I know churches that sell stuff. But the corrupt is if you're doing it for personal gain. That, what, that is what makes it corrupt. If you're only doing it for personal gain, that will make the church corrupt. If you're only doing it for money, that will make the church corrupt. If you're on an, if you're unintentionally altering the word of God, that makes the church corrupt. So we're going to be moving on and we're going to get into the word of God. We're going to today for the corrupt church, we'll be looking at Revelations 2 verses 18 to verses 29. Let's get into the word of God. Now we're looking at Revelations 2 verses 18 and verses 19. Let's read the word of God. And unto the angel of the church in I don't know what that word is, so I'm going to leave it alone, right? These things said the Son of God, who had an eye like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works and charity and service and faith and thy patience and thy works and the last to be more than the first. So here, uh, God was saying to the church, he says he knows their works. He says he knows of their works, So they, the works in the ministry. He knows charity, the love, and the service, and their faith, and their patience. So we're going to be moving on now. We're going to be looking at Revelations 20. Let's read the word of God. So we're looking at Revelations 2, verses 20. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you because you allow that woman Jezebel who call herself a prophet to teach and seduce my servant to commit sexual immorality and to eat things sacrificed to idols. 21. And I gave her time to repent for her sexual immorality and she did not repent. 22. Indeed, I will cast her into a sick bed and those who commit adultery with her into great tribulation unless they repent of their deeds 23 i will kill her children with death and all the churches shall know that i am he who searches the mind and the heart and i will give to each one of you according to your works 
24. Now to you I say, and to the rest of the church, as many as you do not have this doctrine, who have not known the depth of Satan, as they say, I will put on you no other burden, but to hold fast what you have till I come. He and he who overcomes and keeps my word until the end, to him I will give power over the nations. 27. He shall rule with them with a rod of iron. He shall dash the pieces like the potter's vessel. As I also have received from my father, 28, and I will give him the morning star. He who had an ear, let him hear what the spirit says to the church. So today we're looking at the church, the corrupt church. The corrupt church was the church of, um, I'm not going to say that word because I don't know how to pronounce it. So I'm going to leave it alone. So this church was corrupt and we said the meaning of corrupt was having shown a willingness to act dishonestly in return for money or personal gain. But the corrupt church, Jesus was saying their good qualities was they had service. They uh, did the service. They, they had faith. They had love. And they had patience. But what made the church corrupt was that they... They hold fast to uh, Jezebel. So we're going to now we're going to be looking at Jezebel and we're going to looking at her character. Jezebel was found in the Old Testament. She was married to Ahab. We're going to go in on Jezebel and her personality because the corrupt church hold fast to the teachings of Jezebel. So now we're going to be looking at Jezebel. We're going to look at her personality and what she does just to give you an understanding when Jesus said, because thou suffered that woman Jezebel, which called herself a prophet, to teach and to, to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed to idols. Now, not uh, this was not the only church that had a problem with um with um with um with with the fornication. The compromising church too had a problem with fornication, with sexual immorality. So it was the compromising church had a problem with um. With sexual sin, and we're looking at the corrupt church had a problem with sexual sin. So, who was Jezebel? Jezebel was a princess. She was a Phoenician princess, and she married um Ahab. Her father was a priest, and he was also the king of um of his city. And she married into she married into she married um she married Ahab, and Ahab was Jewish. So Ahab, um, Ahab was her husband. Ahab was the king of Israel. Jezebel worshipped Baal. Not only did Jezebel worship Baal, Jezebel made Israel to worship Baal. Jezebel was the only woman in the um, Bible that uh, used makeup. Jezebel was the only person that used makeup in the Bible. She was the only person, she was the only woman that used makeup. And you see now, you see the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. Now makeup is very, you know, like cover girl says, you know, I forgot the slogan of cover girl. You know, but makeup is a part of our um our lives now. But Jezebel was the only person in the Bible that wore makeup. So Jezebel's marriage to Ahab was political because her father was the king. And, you know, back in the days, they, they married, you know, for political and they had peace. So when, when Jezebel married into, um, married Ahab, the king of Israel, she brought the practices. So as soon as they were married, Jezebel made Ahab, uh, set up groves and set up altars in Israel. They were not supposed to do that, but Jezebel made them do it. Be because of Jezebel, um, Jezebel, Jezebel brought eight hundred uh, prophets to Israel, and she ordered the murder of God's prophet. She 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 killed so many prophets of God that um Elijah, 
had to run away and and God had to tell Elijah this is in the Old Testament that um when he was telling God listen I'm the only person that is here because um Jezebel killed she killed she 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 did a um she she wa- she just wanted to kill the people of God. Jezebel was a very cruel woman, and and, and um the the um one of the prophets took I think was a hundred or a hundred and fifty prophets, and he hid them because Je- Jezebel was so cruel. Not only did she do that when Ahab wanted the um the vineyard of Nabal, Jezebel killed the man and told Ahab to go take the field. She was a very ruthless person. And she didn't, she didn't care. And the Bible says when they were, um, tell, you know, Jezebel didn't care. You know, I do, I do whatever I want to do. And because she was the queen and Ahab was a very, um, he was a very passive person when he wanted something, he went and he told her and she got it done. Jezebel got the job done. So God was not pleased because this church, the corrupt church, was allowing the teachings of Jezebel. And what did Jezebel do? Jezebel, uh, Jezebel was a woman, but the spirit of Jezebel, um, the spirit of Jezebel is a very ruthless spirit. So we're gonna look in at just like what the the um the personality of Jezebel. Because that's what the the um the corrupt church hold fast to, the um Jezebel's doctrine, Jezebel's teaching, the corruptness that Jezebel herself or the things them that she did. So Jezebel used to seduce people. So um, okay, let me okay when when Jehu came to her right. It says there she used to paint, she used to paint, she used to paint the makeup, she used to put on the makeup to seduce people. And even now, you know, I look at Facebook and I look at some people and they look, when they put on the makeup, they look like a total different person. Even me, when I go outside and I put on a wig and I put on some makeup, you will never know. You will never know. I remember one time I went to my children's school. I, I don't know if I had on a wig, but I put on some makeup and they said, oh, we didn't know it was you because makeup transform you. I'm not saying makeup is bad. I'm just saying makeup can make you look like a totally different person. I know some people when they put on when when they put on makeup, um, you can including myself when I put on makeup, I look different. I know some people if they take off the wig, you, you don't know them. I remember one time I went to um the supermarket and I was, and this lady was talking to me and I'm like, I, she knew I didn't know who she was. You know what she had to say to me for me to recognize her? Oh, I have on a different wig. Then I remembered the lady because she was talking to me and she, she knew I didn't know who she was. And she herself had to say to me, oh, I have on a, and when she said, oh, I have on a different wig, then I realized who the woman was. And that's to show you today in churches, you see, not to say that makeup is bad, but just to see Jezebel was using makeup as a form of seduction. When she painted her eyes, she put on, and she was the only woman in the Bible that the Bible said that she did those things. So makeup, when you use makeup, it, it could seduce people because um, I've heard the, ch- the story in the, um, in the churches when the man married the woman, she had on so much makeup and when he married her, she took it off and, and the only good redeeming quality was about her was that she could sing. So when he looked at her, he said, sing baby, sing, sing because makeup, you know, I, even myself in personal life, you see people and they have to, um, put up on Facebook. That's not what I look like in real life. Because they know that the makeup alters them. And then you fall in love with that, that makeup. That, that is not that real person. When they take off all that makeup and you'll be looking at what have I gotten myself in. Many men have been trapped by women with that makeup. Because what when they took off all that makeup, it was not the same person. So we're just looking at Jezebel. It says here... Jezebel used um the painting herself in hopes of seducing. She wanted to seduce uh, Jehu and become his mistress. But Jehu was on an assignment to kill Jezebel because um 
Elijah had prophesied Jezebel. <laughs> Excuse me. Jezebel had to die. She did so many things. She had to die. So her putting on a makeup to seduce Jay, who was not going to work. She wanted to become his mistress. That was not going to work. In the end, Jay, who told the men to throw her out the window. And she, um, she was eaten by the dogs. And just let me tell you what her name, um, what her name, um, describes when people call people Jezebel. Her name describes cunning. She was a cunning person, ruthless. She killed the prophets of God and a reprehensible woman. Her name also, um, symbolizes now it's her Jezebel's name symbolizes it symbolizes idolatry. She was an idolater because she worshipped Baal. She worshipped Baal all her life. She was a, a prostitute. Jezebel, um, like I said, she would um she painted her face to seduce the men. And she was a sorcerer. She was deep into witchcraft. Jezebel was deep in witchcraft. So you see here now the church of um the corrupt church. Hold fast to the teachings of Jezebel. Jezebel was an idolater. She did not believe in um, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jezebel believed in, the, um, in Baal. She was a prostitute. She believed in seducing people. She was a sorcerer. She worked witchcraft. Yes, you know, Jezebel, you know, she, 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 um, she stood up for what she believed in, but unfortunately her, um, her beliefs were wrong. She stood up for what she believed in, but her beliefs were in the wrong thing. So the, the, the church just believed in Jezebel and Jezebel, um, Jezebel had a seducing spirit. So you see people now that are people that have the spirit of Jezebel they seduce how do they seduce people so now we're going to be looking at when the bible says here in our uh, revelations 2 where is it verses 20 it says on jezebel who calls herself a prophet to teach and seduce let's look at seduce let's look at the meaning of seduce seduce means to entice someone into sexual activities so we know the spirit of jezebel loves to entice people into sexual activities because that's what the word seduce means to entice people into sexual activities now i've seen I've seen on the TV and I think I've seen in real life where people go to church just to seduce the pastor if he's a man. I've seen women with their cleavage outside. Church is not the place for all your cleavage to be showing outside. I've seen women with, you see everything they have on the tongue and you've seen everything printed to you. That is not, church is not the place for you to have on all those things. It, it, it is a time and a place and church is not the place for you to be showing your butt. I've seen all kinds of stuff in church, but why? The women that have the Jezebel spirit are a man that has a Jezebel spirit. What they do, they seduce. Jezebel wanted to seduce uh, Jehu in the um, Old Testament when she painted her face and she looked outside the window. But Jehu was a man of God. He was not going to fall for Jezebel and her witchcraft. He was not going to fall for that seduction spirit. You know what he said to them? He said, throw her out the window. And when they threw her out the window, the dogs eat Jezebel. Because he was not going to fall for that spirit. He was not going to fall for that spirit of seduction. And that's what Jezebel does. She seduces people. I've heard stories of um, people just seducing people, breaking up marriages. Uh, women that have the seducing spirit, you know, they just break up the marriage and then they go their way. Because their intent is to seduce. The seduction, the spirit of seduction, seducing 
people that's what they do to men and i just want to say with the spirit of jezebel a man or a woman that have the spirit of jezebel they will always be well kept i'm not saying everyone that's well kept have a spirit of jezebel i'm just saying the man or the woman that have this because jezebel she was a real person she was a she was a princess and then when she married the king of israel ahab she was a queen so the spirit of jezebel is someone that's always well put together if it's a woman, she's going to love makeup. She's going to love makeup. She will spend, if she had $100 and the makeup costs $100, and we know there's some makeup that costs a lot of money, she will spend all of her money on makeup. Because why? The seducing spirit. She will get the man because how she looks. She looks good. She smells good. She's always well put together. How house is always put together. Everything for her is going to be a straight line. So when you see her, she looks good on pen. She looks good on paper. She just looks good. But she is operating under a spirit of Jezebel. So her, her, her goal is to, to, to seduce. To seduce. So to seduce you. So what she will say to a man. You know what? I've never had sex in eight years. So she's done telling the man, I've never had sex in eight. Now she's, I, I, you know, and then he's what I go to church. I read my Bible. She's seducing the man now. How many marriages have broken up with the um, woman talking to the man about the Bible and then um, broke up the home with the word of God, um, telling them they're doing Bible study and break up people's home. Seducing the man while she's reading the Bible. Yes. So that's the woman if she has the uh, spirit of seduction operating on her spirit of Jezebel. She, you know, she's seducing the man. You know, I haven't had sex in eight years. So now he's already done interested because she not, she, she might, she, she, she could as well have not had sex in eight years, but she's doing it to seduce him, to get him. The man. What would the man that have a Jezebel spirit? He he'll do the same thing too, but he'll do it in another way. He's not gonna say because he's a man. He ain't gonna say he or he may as well say the same thing too. I've not had sex in eight years, so you know you know I've been keeping myself from my wife. Lies, all lies. Or he will you know he seducing or he'll tell the woman I love you so badly. I think about you night and day. Seducing because all of it is lies. Or it's an attempt to get the person. So he'll use seducing, seducing, seducing. You know, um, my, um, you know, I've known people, you know, you read a text message. All they're saying is, oh, I love you so badly. And they're telling that to not one person, not two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen 10, 15 women. They're texting them all. I'm, I'm talking about a man now texting all of them the same thing. I love you badly. You're the best thing that happened to me. Seducing, seducing spirits operating under the spirit of seduction, operating under the Jesse Bell spirit. And you're with the person. All they're doing is seducing. And when they're finished, they're just going to go along their way because the spirit of Jesse Bell operates too with the spirit of the narcissist. So you'll find the person that operating a man or a woman because spirits um, can be in both people, a man or a woman. So you find the person that is operating under the Jezebel spirit also has a narcissistic spirit. They will not, they will never tell you they're sorry. Cause the Bible says here in revelations two, uh, verses 21. And I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality. And she did not repent. A person that's operating under the Jezebel spirit will not repent. They will not repent. They will not. They will do so many stuff to you. And you say, all I look for, all I want is an apology. Just a sorry. They will not apologize to you. In fact, a person that is, it can be a man or a woman. In fact, the person that's operating under the Jezebel spirit will flip, will flip the switch. They'll make you feel bad. They'll make you feel like you did something to them when all along, um, they're the um evil one. They're the culprit. So we say that the Jezebel spirit is a spirit of seduction. 
Jezebel was a woman in the Old Testament. She was a princess, and she, when she married Ahab, the king of Israel, she became a queen. She um she killed Naboth. She wrote um letters with the king's seal because Ahab wanted um Ahab wanted the um Ahab wanted the vineyard. She uh she used makeup. She was the only woman in the Bible that painted her face. She operated under a spirit of seduction. She wanted to seduce uh, Jehu. Jehu was a man of God. He wasn't falling for her. He told the eunuchs to throw her out the window. She died. The dogs eat her um, flesh. So we see uh, the spirit of Jezebel. The corrupt church was operating under the spirit of Jezebel. And we said that the corrupt church, uh, the, what was the meaning of the word corrupt? The meaning of corrupt is having or showing a willingness to act dishonestly in return for money or personal gain. So if a church is just doing stuff for money and doing things for personal gain, that church is corrupt. We also looked at in the corrupt church, they were operating under a spirit of Jezebel. We also looked at who Jezebel was. She was a woman from the Old Testament. She uh, was a princess. When she married Ahab, she became the queen of Israel. What did Jezebel do? Jezebel killed the prophets of God. She um, brought in her own prophets to replace the prophets of God after she killed them. She prosecuted um, Elijah. She um, prosecuted the people of God. She was ruthless. She was an idolater. She worshipped Baal. When she married Ahab, she set up groves to worship Baal. She killed the prophets. She um she brought judgment on the children of Israel because she taught them to serve Baal. So people that are operating under the Jezebel spirit also uh, likes to seduce. We looked at seduction. What does it mean to seduce some per a person? You seduce them into uh, committing sexual sins fornication adultery we see that jezebel the bible talks about with the corrupt church did not repent jezebel it could be a man or a woman does not repent does not repent of their sins so now we're going to go ahead and pray Heavenly Father, God, we come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for life. We thank you for health and we thank you for strength. Heavenly Father, we come before you repenting of our sins, God, our sins of sexual immorality, fornication, and adultery. We come before you repenting today, today, today. Oh, Lord God, you said create in us a clean heart, oh, Lord, and renew within us a right spirit. Take all the things in us that will cause us to perish and decay and grant us everlasting life. Heavenly Father, God, we come before you today, God, repent. Repenting, God, repenting of operating under the spirit of Jezebel, God, operating under a spirit of seduction, wanting to seduce God. Heavenly Father, God, we repent, God. We repent, God, of doing stuff just for monetary gain, Lord God. We repent. We repent, Lord God, for doing stuff for our own purposes, Lord God. We repent, we repent, repent. Creating us a clean heart, O Lord God, and renew it in us a right spirit. Heavenly Father God, we come before your throne of grace, repenting of our sins today, today, today. Not tomorrow, God, not yesterday, but today, today, today. Heavenly Father God, we repent now, now, now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.